Hi there, I'm Erwin and I want to show you how to make caldo de camarón or shrimp soup. It's a recipe that many of you have been asking me to make so today I'm going to prepare it for you. It's a delicious soup for the season and it's really simple so let's get started. Now let's take a look at the ingredients that we're going to use. Okay, now the first step is to get all our vegetables washed and cleaned. We don't want anything bad in there, we don't want to get sick on Christmas Day, so I'm going to wash all my vegetables and then I'm going to disinfect them. Now I'm done washing my vegetables and I'm going to focus on the two most important ingredients for this caldo, which are the shrimp which in this case as you can see I'm using dried uh, full headed shrimp this will add a salty flavor which is essential for the caldo and also I'm using chile guajillo chile guajillo is uh, as you can see is this type of uh, pepper and uh, it's dried you can find it in any supermarket around here now what I'm going to do with the what I'm going to do with the shrimp is uh, I'm going to rinse it for a little bit in order to get a little bit of that salt off of it we do not too much so I need to keep some of the salt in there with the guajillo chile uh -huh, since it's dry we need to soften the hard skin that it has and we also want to get rid of the, the seeds that it has in there if you don't want your caldo to be too spicy we need to get uh, these little seeds off there so in this case I'm going to have, I guess I'm going to use only two and um, I'm going to put them here and use a little water. So I'm going to let them sit here for a little bit. Okay, now uh, our peppers are ready. Uh, the skin is soft enough and what I'm going to do is just uh, open, them, open them up here like that and, and just remove um, remove the little seeds that we see in there like that okay so we're done we're done with the peppers and now I'm going to peel and dice the carrots and the potatoes mm -hmm. Now I'm ready to roll. I've got all my ingredients ready, diced, washed and everything. And um, I'm going to separate the ingredients in two parts, say, um, those that I'm going to use in the stock, in the caldo, which is uh, the tomatoes and pepper, as well as uh, the parsley and the epazote. Remember that epazote, epazote is uh, one of the most important ingredients too, as it will add this uh, very typical flavor to our caldo and the the diced uh, carrots and potatoes as well as the shrimp I'm gonna put away for now I'm going to add them to this uh, soup later on what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put all these ingredients again the tomatoes just gonna cut them like that really simple I'm gonna throw them in the blender all the chilies too Mm, delicious so what we're going to do here is prepare the, the sauce which will be the main element of the stock so we're going to add this we're going to have our parsley and uh, parsley is, is optional some people use other other herbs, um, you might maybe try some others, but the one that we really need in there is epazote. You can throw in uh, the epazote with all the um, with uh, stems and everything. We're going to put them in there mm -hmm, to make this really nice thing. And we're also remember I told you we were going to use um, garlic cloves. Well, um, I 
find it to be a little more practical in this case to use a kind of a supplement, which works really good. And uh, look at this. Okay, so we've got our garlic in there too. Let's get rid of this. And now it's blending time. So we're going to uh, add a little. Oh, we're going to add a little bit of water. So we have. Uh, So we can blend all this together. We're gonna have it safely, safely, and we're going to blend it. Take a look at our sauce here. Mm, it looks delicious. Gee, this smells really good. You should be here. Okay, now the sauce for our stock is ready. I have a pan here um, where I'm going to precisely put this. I'm going to add a little bit of um, oil, cook, regular cooking oil, and I'm going to heat it. And what we're going to basically do is uh, we're going to add this sauce in the pan, and we're gonna let it. Um, we're going to let it heat for a little bit, so it gets this uh, flavor onto it, and later on we'll continue. I think I think this is ready. I'm going to check it. Mm. Oh, this is so good. Take a look. Um, as it is uh, starting to boil, mm -hmm, we're going to then add. A little more water in order to, um, well, consider that this is uh, for four people approximately. So we're going to add, I think that's enough because then we have to add uh, the vegetables as well as the shrimp. So now I know some people, uh, I know some people don't like to use extra flavor. In, in my case, I, I'd rather use it. It gives a little stronger touch to the whole thing. So. I guess I'm gonna do a little uh, a little trick here. So okay, this is a this is shrimp. This is shrimp stock. Mm -hmm. and we're going to add it, turn it, and this is a stage uh, where we are going to add all our vegetables. Well, the carrots as well as the um, potatoes. So we're going to add them to carefully to the stock. Mm -hmm. Now uh, the vegetables have uh, cooked for a little bit in, in this uh, in this our caldo, and it's time to add the shrimp. After we, after we add the shrimp, we're going to let uh, the whole the whole thing boil, maybe for uh, maybe for 10, 15 minutes, and after that, you can enjoy, ready as it can be. Now take a look at that. I just wish I had a bigger pan in order to, uh, you know, prepare for more. But I guess this will be enough for four people. And again, we're going to we're going to wait those uh, 15 minutes for this to be ready. And after that, well, it's ready to go. Hmm, this looks like ready. Let's take a look. Oh, oh look at this color. Oh, truly, it is well done. Now look at the shrimp and uh, the carrots and the potato, they were very well done. Mm. I think I'm really going to have a big dinner this holidays. Well amigos, that, uh, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed my recipe and stay tuned for more. See you next time.